Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am going to talk to you about a new modality to treat corneal edema today, and I do have a financial interest. The symptoms of corneal edema, distorted or blurred vision, often worse in the morning. Eye discomfort, halos around lights, sensitivity to foreign particles, and photophobia. And the causes are manifold for the corneal edema. It could be dehydration, an endothelial disorder, ocular surgery, viral infections, traumatic injury, increased ocular pressure, and so on. So the, what this really means is that the optical performance of the eye is diminished. This is due to the irregularity of the endothelial cells, their size and shape, and the gaps in between. And these changes affect the light bending properties of the endothelial cells. Further, the excess fluid that is concentrated mainly in the stroma scatters incoming light and reduces the ability of the cornea to fo focus light properly. So the aims of the corneal edema therapy is to keep the cornea dry and to fight infections. This is why we have developed the contact lens, the Hyper-CL, and its functional mode is the following. It's got a unique structure that enables the extraction of fluid from the corneal stroma plus an increased evaporation over the lens surface. The dual base curve and the grove and the holes inside the lens creates a microenvironment above the cornea center that holds fluid with high ionic concentration. And this results in absorbing fluids from the cornea. Here you actually can see the lens with the hose and the groves. There are some benefits of this lens. It's a unique lens design which e enables extraction of fluids by osmosis from the corneal edema. It acts as a pump. <coughs> nope, you don't need to prepare anything. It's dis disposable or reusable within two weeks and it can include a corrective refraction if so needed. And it's given by prescription only, and it's patent protected. So the indications are the following, it to relieve corneal pain in the treatment of acute or chronic ocular pathologies, such as bullous keratopathy, corneal erosions, entropion, corneal edema, and corneal dystrophies. Post-surgical conditions resulting from cataract extraction and corneal surgery. Please note, not for refractive surgery. The lenses may be prescribed for daily use with a removal for cleaning or extended wear, but for not for more than 96 hours. The contraindications are, of course, dry eye, any systemic disease, Allergic reactions of ocular surface or agnexa, aller allergy to any ingredient such as mercury or thimerosal contained in the lens solution, and if eyes become red and ir or irritated, and patients unable to follow lens care regimens are not suitable for this. So in order to increase the effect of alleviation of corneal edema, it is recommended to use a hypertonic solution in combination with a hyper-CL lens, plus, if you so wish, an antibiotic. I'm presenting here results of 21 patients, and the patient demography, demographics is the following. Patient age between 23 and 78 years of age. The majority of patients post ecking in this uh, trial, contact lens overwear, and corneal erosions and genders were equally divided. The treatment modality was the following. No treatment for two days before starting with the HyperCL, seven days with HyperCL plus saline solution with a break after 96 hours and 20 minutes after removal of lens washout with saline. 
In many of these cases, we could stop the treatment earlier because the coronial edema had receded. So the results are the following, that no adverse event occurred during wear. No side effects rather than normally irritation due to the coexistence of a contact lens on the cornea. So we have 21 cases and the mean thickness before treatment was 732 microns and after two days it was down, uh, for, sorry, after uh, 24 hours it was down to 653 microns. And here you see the results, that is to say that after 24 to 48 hours we had been able to reduce the central corneal thickness by 79 microns in average. Set, second visit was after 48 hours up to 96 hours and I apologize it's not 79, it should be 90 microns decrease of uh, after uh, the, well, the, during the second visit. Regarding visual acuity, that was not the target area of, for the presentation of this investigation of importance, of course, is to measure the uh, corneal edema. For post-op cataract patient treatment of corneal edema was stopped after 14 days or earlier if we saw that the edema had uh, stopped and were fully recovered. For non-induced surgery of corneal edema, the treatment should be continued until the corneal edema problem was alleviated. So the conclusions are the following, that initial discomfort was noted in some cases and decreased after one and two hours. In two cases the lens had a tendency to fall out. This lens design is not suitable for post-treatment of corneal edema after raising refractive surgery. We have a new design on the way on for this. And as you can guess, uh, an improvement of visual quality was noted. Safety and efficacy of the, this lens has been established and the study is ongoing in Europe on several centers and method could be, certainly be an alternative to other more drastic treatments for corneal disease. Thank you so much for your attention.